Seniors, whether they be college students or retirees, may have more in common than you think. An art project brings Ringling College of Art and Design students together with the Friendship Centers to share drawings, stories, and advice. SNN Samantha Sonner has more. Can we use storytelling and art making to shift our perspective on the way we think about aging? And we certainly have. Students from the Ringling College of Art and Design partnered with the Caregiving Place at the Friendship Centers on a collaborative art project, bridging their age difference with a love of art. My husband always says if there's a piece of paper that's blank, it'll be filled in a few minutes. I have different crayons and, pe and pencils and I, draw, I doodle a lot. It doesn't really matter how old we are or how old they are. What matters is just coming together and we all love art. After sending drawings and stories pen pal style, students got to meet their partners in person and learn about each other's lives. One person I was talking to was uh, in the Navy for a long time, you know, and he's been all over Europe and he was, um, he worked in the bottom of the ship as an engineer and it was, it was really cool, you know, I've never experienced anything like that. So hearing his perspective on it was really interesting. Through drawing, students see there is a lot of advice the seniors have to give. Everything is going to be okay. It seems really stressful right now, like I'm graduating soon, I got to find a job, but just having that reassurance, like someone who went through the same things that I'm going through, it's going to be okay, everything's going to work out. It's really encouraging. I don't think things have changed too much, you know, being in college. Being away from your family is something you have to get used to, making new friends and knowing if you're going to stay friendly with them once you're out of college. And it, you will, you will. Building relationships by looking at each other's portraits. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.